evening everyone and welcome to beautiful Edmonton, Alberta. My name is Star Raccoon and welcome to the 2021 Fur A Day Parade here virtually on the internet. Joining me is my co-host Kieran. Kieran, how are you doing tonight? Oh, I'm doing excellent, Star. I'm doing excellent. Thank you very much. It's a beautiful, beautiful night today. You can see those virtual stars sparkling up in the sky. And I know that we have quite a few floats for us tonight, quite a few good ones. In fact, I know that uh, they've been prepping something very, very interesting for us. Have you heard about some of the floats that are coming? Well, I know out of the 16 participants we have tonight with our virtual Fur A Day Parade, the ones I'm looking forward to the most will probably be the Underdogs Rescue Float, Universal Studios, and of course, our theme this year, Marty Paul. I'm quite excited for all of them. I've heard there's going to be a few special surprises today. I know the Universal Studios float is going to be one of the barn burners here, and I'm quite excited for that as well. There's going to be a lot of people who are going to want to see it. That only goes to show you that the theme of virtual conventions is a definite growing idea and a growing segment within our market and the idea that we have 16 or even more participants like you said we do have some surprises this year that really cements the idea that not only is fur a going to be a great convention when we do go back to in person but it's also a wonderful online complement to the in-person event i 100 percent agree and i i'm getting something a little bit here uh, vampy our man Vampy is on the ground right now at ground level with all the floats. How about we go throw it over to Vampy and see just what's going on down there? Vampy, we're going to throw it to you. And throw! Not sure if you can tell going on behind me here, there's a whole lot of commotion as all these fursuiters and everyone involved with the floats is getting ready to take all of these floats out onto Kingsway Avenue for the parade. However, I did manage to actually snag one of the people that's going to be on the float. Here he comes now. Hey, Wolliver, how's it going? You're looking great, very fit. Uh, now I imagine it's quite intense being on one of these parade floats. Is there any sort of training regime that goes into preparing for these parades? Lots of donuts, okay. You gotta, you gotta get carbs, make sure you have energy. Is that how you uh, you maintain your, your physique in the hot sun? Your, uh, I guess, yeah, exactly, very strong. Okay, uh, do you have any tips for anybody who would maybe want to be on a float in the future? Any, any advice for would-be uh, furry floatiers? Eat donuts. Got it. All right, you heard it here, folks. If you want to be in a furry parade someday, you got to eat a lot of donuts. Whatever donuts you're eating, it's not enough. Thanks, Oliver, for your time. Really appreciate it. Good luck out there. Well, it looks like the parade's going to get started here, so I'm going to sign off. I've been Vampy for Furry TV. Back to you guys. All right. I am a stoked star to see this parade, the Furry Parade 2021. I have been waiting this entire year for this moment, and it's ready to go. Yeah, it's very exciting. Let's go down to the parade and watch. Welcome every fur to the 2021 Fur A Day Parade. You may wish to reduce the lighting in your home for our event. Now sit back, relax, and enjoy the 2021 Fur A Day Parade. You know, I'm quite excited to uh, see this parade here, a Star. Uh, a lot of these floats are new to me, and so I've never actually quite seen a few of them. And in fact, that's the first one coming up here. We have the Furray Parade 2021 lead float. Look at there, hey Stripes, how's it going? Foul as well. Can't believe we get to see you again. Give them a wave. Hope you guys are doing well. Hey boys. Wow, look at that. You don't get to see that in just any old parking lot. This is the Great Canadian Road Trip with Marlo. There's Marlo right there. Say hi, Marlo. Or just stand there. There you go. Hi. And... Oh, hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> And then there's Tizger. Hi, Tiz. How you doing? It's Tiz. Tizger. 
you know, sorry, I heard that you're uh, quite a bit of a fan of hockey. Uh, what, do you, what do you think of the float here? Oh, I think it's a great, great day that whenever you get to see a Canadian national team jersey out in the open like that. Thank you, Marlo, for bringing back a classic. Looking at sites, we have the Pirates of the North Saskatchewan River, including the Parrot Perez and Fireline Coyote, ready to pirate their way into your hearts. Someone give Perez a, a cracker. He's a very good boy. Such a good boy. And such a big river as well. You know, it's almost 1,300 kilometers going from the BC Rockies to the Saskatchewan border. Well, we don't use crazy measurements here in America. We actually use normal measurements. All oh, right, I forgot that you use Freedom Miles. Well, Star, I hope that you're hungry. We have the dog and donuts here. Look at them showing off all their donuts. My stomach is rumbling. There's Wooliver holding the donut and Shadow Tail sampling the wares. Enjoy, boys, but don't eat too much. You know, all that sugar goes right to your thighs. Uh, and they got some pretty thick thighs right there. A lot of donuts. You know, thick thighs do save lives. We have Ruff and Duchess on our next float. Look at them. Ruff is looking beautiful. Same with Duchess. Gold-framed portrait. Not something you see every day, is it, Star? Not every day do you see that. No, that is very elegant. Very pretty. Thank you, Duchess. Up next is the Wild and Weird West. There's my buddy Kanan dancing to what God knows what song he's listening to. And following Kanan on the other side of that wanted poster is, of course, Pip. Hey, Pip, you need to keep Kanan in check. You know that. It's the Weird Wild West. Look at those two. They're just fantastic. So much energy. Uh, it seems like we're almost ready just to go and uh, do a little bit of a high noon showdown for us. Maybe we'll see a little bit of uh, bangs later. Wow, wow, indeed. We have a con chair dead on the floor and they're just waving at us. It is Koga and Tiggs featuring who killed the con chair. My money's on Tiggs. You know, he has a little bit of the, uh, he has those eyes. The eyes that say, I did it and I don't care. Well, he's already wearing stripes, so you know that he'll blend in in prison very well. Very well. You don't need a jumpsuit if you're already orange. You know, my favorite game show, do you know what my favorite game show was as a child? Uh, Wheel of Fortune. No, Russian Roulette. I always won, but up next is the Furry Feud. <laughs> and here's Kawhi. <laughs> Hey Kawhi, are you winning, son? Are you playing? How you doing? And of course, there's M Blade. How you doing, M Blade? Survey says I want to hug them all. in the action would like to remind you about the Furay Christmas Extravaganza. It's no longer a party anymore. It's a full day event. Star, can you let our viewers just know what's in store? Well, Kieran, what I can tell you is it will be tons of programming in person. It will be a dealer's den to attend in person. And there will be a dance in person. Why am I saying in person? Because ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I've been in my house now for 24 months and Star's gone a little stir crazy. <laughs> for more information, you can visit us online to purchase tickets at furea.ca. That's F-U-R-E-H dot C-A. Now again, make sure to get your boogie out here. We don't want you to go too insane before the big event, which starts December 18th. Make sure to get your tickets right now.
up next, it's my personal favorite. We have the enchanted float of Harry Otter and the Forbidden Amulet. This harkens back to one of my favorite foray days where everyone was thrown into a house and competing to be the victor. Little known fact is that Hisserin, the House of Hisserin, actually tried to cheat their way to the top and yet failed under the mighty strength of Rundlehoof. Thank you very much, Toxic, and thank you as well, Hobo Dakota. Uh, Harry Otter, you know, he was the otter that fished. Joining us now is Pa Vegas, Quinell, and Shitani. Joining us from Sin City. And of course, you gotta watch those hooves. That's where you keep the extra cards. But Shitani is watching Quinell, making sure he doesn't cheat his way to the top of the casino. Well, cheating or not, they have quite a bit of a glitter and glam. Bet they have a lot of cash stored up after all that gambling. You would hope, but maybe, maybe not. Who knows? Up next, it's Underdog's Rescue. Of course, you know that here we need your support for Underdog's Rescue. So to remind you to help one of our very fun charities is Rockwell, and near and dear to my heart, Sam the Puppy. Hey, how you doing, boys? Who's a good doggy? Who's a good doggy? Who's a good charity? You're a good charity. Yes, yes you are. Yes, you are. The Underdogs Rescue has been with us since the very beginning, and they're one of my favorite charities. They're here to help out disadvantaged pups that might not find a home with anyone else. So please, open your wallets, and perhaps open your home to a few of those lovely pups. Fireline Cody float number two, and joining us is Matcha and Onyx. Is your is your house? The butter. It, it does look like a little bit of a brick of butter. butter. Is it butter? I can't believe it's not butter. It's time for Universal Studios Canada with Bastion and Sparks. Of course, they've written all the great hits like Pause, Back to the Fursuit, and How I Met Your Brother. Hey, you can't forget Cas uh, you can't forget Catbusters. Oh, it's my cat personal Buster. favorite to growl and bark at. <laughs> well, all the puppies are Catbusters in their own special way. you as a native Louisianian this is probably one of the best floats out there this warms my heart so much I haven't been home in so long ladies and gentlemen it's Marty Paw that's right it's Fat Tuesday for us furries that means Fuji and Cinnamon will be enjoying king cake throwing beats here and throw me something mister laissez les bontons rouler mon ami laissez les bontons rouler And look at them right where I'd love to be on the beach. We have Duffy and Darksid. Duffy and Darksid, hope you're not getting too sweaty in that lovely sunny weather. That was made in a still somewhere deep inside Walt Disney World Resort. Fantastic. You never, you can never tell, really. You just never know. And we want to give a very special shout out and thank you to the people who helped make this possible. Of course, that's Kanan McGuffin Films and Wet Cat Productions. They get their own little float with their own billboards. They will stand up in a high wind. Very solid, very solid star. And again, thank you, Kanan. Thank you, um, Wet Cat Productions. 
None of this would be possible without you. Fantastic floats. Fantastic parade. Thank you. Wow, what a parade that was. There were so many good floats. I just couldn't even believe which one is my favorite. It's so hard to choose. Star, do you even have a favorite? Which one is yours? There's so many to list, but I really have to, if I have to choose one, it would probably be the Underdog's Rescue Float. You know, I love Sam so much. He's such a wonderful character, very near and dear to my heart. Uh, if I had to pick a second one, my gosh, where, where, do I, where do I start? Maybe the Great Canadian Road Trip, maybe the Fur A Day Parade Lead Float, maybe even possibly Universal Studios. You know, they had uh, Sparks and Bastion on that, that parade float. And it was just so great to see everyone. Uh, it's really hard to pick a, a, a favorite here, Kieran, you know, so I'm just gonna cheese out and say all of them. <laughs> <laughs> uh, taking the easy way out, I see. But, you know, I'm a dog after my own stomach. I can't help but love the dogs and donuts. You know, what dog doesn't like a little bit of donuts? I said, everyone here was beautiful. Their contribution was fantastic, and I was enthralled the entire time. All right, and for the last time, our man on the ground, Vampy. Vampy, how's it going down there? That was an amazing parade here at Furay in beautiful Edmonton, Alberta. I got to see it from a really cool close-up angle, and I, I can't believe it. I've never seen any parade like that before. It was so close, you could almost reach out and touch, except that's a major no-no. But you were able to see the individual hairs of the suits. That's how close I was. Crazy stuff. Very exciting. Very honored to be down here, reporting live on scene for Furay TV. Uh, my mind is blown. And speaking of mind blowing, this is really exciting. Managed to actually pull one of the people from the lead float. Stripes is here and uh, gonna chat with me for a bit. Hi Stripes, how's it going? I'm good. That, that's good, I'm glad to hear that. Uh, so how was the experience being on the lead float of this amazing time spanning parade? Well, you know, it's always an honor to be on that lead float. Uh, it was a furry float with the big red logo and with Val and, and uh, you know, I can't hold a candle to his plaid suit, but I mean, I have my own pattern to deal with, but uh, it's always fun to be up there on that furry float. Now, they say that it can be very difficult when throwing together an outfit with stripes, and, you know, depending on which way the stripes are going, they can look quite slimming or the opposite of effect. You're looking great with this stripe. Of, see, you did it right. You've got the vertical stripes that make you look slimmer. You're looking great. Uh, and I mean, yeah, foul suit it is a pretty nice suit, though. That's, that's pretty hard competition. Now, I asked a, a fellow, a floatier earlier, about if they had any advice for would-be people that want to maybe see themselves up on a furry float someday. Do you have any advice for people out there right now watching? Yes, absolutely. Just do it. We want people to join us and be part of the parade in future years, so when we put out that call for people to join us on, on the parade, then just do it. We want as many people from all over the world to do it as much as possible. We'll get them all on the parade. Uh, we'll do some amazing work and uh, make it look really fun. Awesome, well thanks so much Stripes. Spoken like a true sports fan. There you heard it first, just do it. You thinking about it? Just go for it. Awesome, well thanks so much Stripes. All right, this has been my coverage down here on site at the Furay Parade. Back to you guys. Thank you, Vampy, for all your help down there on the ground tonight. We really couldn't have done it without you. So that's going to wrap it up here at Control Central for Fur A 2021 for the parade segment. I'm, my name is Stardust Raccoon. And I'm Kieran Shep. And I hope you have a wonderful rest of your night. On behalf of everyone here, all the editors, all the producers, and BC Breakaway, my name's Star. Until next time, everyone, keep your stick on the ice. <laughs>